You know, I've been spending a lot of time lately bitching about things, bitching about religion, bitching about the the terrible state of the space program here in the United States. And it's just been a lot of negativity and a lot of just, you know, glowering, moody, angry, disgruntled bullshit for me. So as long as I'm out here among nature here, I'm, I'm here at Antietam Battlefield, uh, right outside of Sharpsburg where I live. It's a beautiful late winter day. It's not quite spring yet, although it feels like it. And I wanted to talk about something positive and something uplifting. And I wanted to share with you a thought that I had as I was on my way here, because to get to the spot where I'm standing right now at Snavely's Ford, uh, you have to walk a little way. It's maybe a 15 minute hike from the, the, uh, the parking lot above Burnside Bridge to get here. And this is just a beautiful clearing. There's woods all around me. Uh, Antietam Creek is running right by to my right. And it's just such a beautiful day. And I had the thought as I was walking through the woods that I'm a part of this place. I'm connected to this place. Not, not just because I, I, I grew up in this county and my parents are from around here and I've lived here with my wife since before we got married. We, we've lived together for uh, six years and we've always lived here in Sharpsburg. Uh, not because of the history, not, I'm literally connected to this place because as I walk through the woods beneath a canopy of trees with uh, grass at my feet, with birds flying overhead and squirrels jumping from tree to tree. It was like so bucolic, you have no idea. Every single organism that I pass by, whether it's a blade of grass on the ground or a clover or a tree or a squirrel or a bird or a fish living over there in that stream, they all share with me a common ancestor. We are connected to each other. We are one. We are unified in a literal way. We are unified biologically. It's, it's not some hokey spiritualism. It's not that we all, we, we, we all have the same energy or we are all one with the universe in some you know, weird, vague, stupid New Age way. I mean literally, for real. There's DNA in my body, the building blocks that make me what I am, that I share with these trees, with the grass, with the wood that, is, that was used to build that barn over there, with every living thing on this planet. If you take me and you take, say, a, a smallmouth bass from Antietam Creek over there, and you could somehow trace our family trees backwards. Eventually you would reach a point where those two branches would intersect. There was once, a long, long time ago, an organism, probably looked a lot more like that fish than it looked like me, where that evolutionary tree branched off. And one of those branches snaked through the hundreds of millions of years and arrived at that fish, and another of those branches snaked through those same years and arrived at me. And there's another branch that is almost the same except for toward the very end that wound up as you. We are not just all related to each other as people. We're related to every living thing on this planet. There's there's a oneness in nature that has nothing to do with Gaia or with God or some biblical creation or any other myth that men have invented to make things better when they had no idea how great things actually were. Isn't it strange that religions were, all, were mostly all invented thousands and thousands of years ago before science had allowed us to reveal to ourselves how beautiful the world actually is and how stunning and complex and mysterious and wondrous it actually is. The truth about nature obliterates any religious concept of it in terms of its beauty and its wonder and its mystery and its awesomeness. And that's just biology. 
That's biological. That's 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 Darwinian evolution. That we're all connected. That we're all descended from common ancestors. If you go a step away from that, and you talk not about biology but about chemistry, we are not just connected to each other as living organisms, but we're connected to to the rocks, to the 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 elements that make the crust of the Earth. We're connected to the the stuff that the other planets are made out of. We're connected to the sun, to the stars. Do you know about probably five billion years ago, it looked a lot different around here. This wasn't uh, a beautiful green, oxygen-rich planet full of people and birds and bacteria. This was a part of a planetary nebula. There was just a lot of really dense, swirling gas out in space. And that gas gradually formed into clumps. And the biggest of those clumps eventually got so big and dense that it underwent nuclear fusion and it lit up. And it became a star that we now refer to as the sun. And the leftover material all around it in that planetary nebula in, in a disk now orbiting that, that gigantic newborn star, the other planets formed, Jupiter and Saturn and Uranus and Neptune, Mercury and Venus and Earth and Mars. We all formed from the same stuff. We're all made of the same stuff. The atoms in our bodies are the same, come from the same place as the atoms that constitute the sun and the planets and everything else in the solar system and everything else in the universe. If you take it down another level from chemistry to the atomic level and even down beyond the atomic level to the quantum level, the elementary particles that everything is built out of were formed in the Big Bang. There's an unbroken scientific line that goes from quantum mechanics up through chemistry, up through biology, through the theory of evolution, from the Big Bang to you and to me and to everything else that exists in the universe today. We are not just living here. We're not just in the universe. We're of the universe. We're a part of it. We're an expression of it. We're a product of it. We're not just on the earth. We're a part of the earth. We're made from the same stuff as the earth. We grew out of the earth just the same way that the trees do. And to me, that is one of the most compelling and awe-inspiring and beautiful and reassuring and stirring thoughts that I could ever have. And that wasn't revealed to me by a priest. That was something that I was allowed to discover for myself by studying the discoveries of science. And it's real, it's not, it's not an article of faith. I don't have to believe in any of that because there's evidence for it, because I know, barring some other evidence to contradict it, that it's true. And that, my friends, is my happy thought for the day.